Ooh. This is a hell of a... Hell of an area to fight on. Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome back to Raji, an ancient epic. So we have gotten our brother back. We are back where we need to be. And now that we've gotten our brother, we have to go defeat the evil, most powerful mystic that we have come to know. But we just landed in this sand, the, the sea of sand, a desert. And we don't know exactly where we're going. It's kind of giving me Mad Journey vibes right now. Even though I've never played the game, uh, so which I really want to. this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How oh, will wow. I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. Mahabalasura. Ba full of tricks. I can't... I... I believe I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm having such a hard strategy. time pronouncing his name. It just doesn't roll off my tongue careful, the way it should. But she must also be Mahala Balasura. The gate should be somewhere over here. Looks like it could be over here. I could be climbing up something. Yeah, this has to be the gate. How is she not, like, incredibly thirsty? Oh, we're- yeah, we're- we got the save icon going. We're here, baby. We're here. And we're here to play. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have you? Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? Why does it indeed? That is something I very much would like to know. Was this her birthplace? Is that her as a baby? One last blessing, my child. Before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain. And you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin. And grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud. For your heart is already as strong as can be. Oh man, wait, are we so close to the end? We can't be. There has to be so much more to this game. Are you kidding? I can't control that. I just pressed spin. <laughs> I can't control that. Amazing. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. This looks like just a giant, like, sinking hole. That's what it looks like to me. Oh. I have a funny feeling something's going to be happening right now. Also, I love the dy the dynamicness of it. Because it, it could look like something you go to, but it also could not look like something you go to. There's something down there. Look at all these stairs. A stairwell in an infinite desert. At its base, a shining tree. I have seen all this before. Have you? It feels like a part of me. It is all I need to at this place. In this time. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. You grant a gift of most celestial power. Mahabalasura is 
finished, Mahabharasura! Let us hope it will be enough. Is that a new weapon? What did we just get? <laughs> I like the sounds it makes. Put up. Put up. Put up. Ah, yes, thank you. Yeah, what kind of blessing did we just receive? It's got to be something that, like, protects me, you know? Oh, man. Are we going off to the final fight here? No, we can't be. Oh, wow. Look at this. All right. Let me see if this is... Oh. The Sutra Chakra. The Sutra Chakra is a divine disc-like weapon which is constantly in motion. It will follow the heart of the wielder. If the heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will consume you. Well, that sucks. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. We just read this. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Wait, this weapon's OP! There, it's like one-shotting everything. So how does one heart stay pure compared to it being corrupt? In what essence do you believe it's corrupt? To corrupt to power? Jesus. Like, how, wh I, that's something I'd like to know. Like, what makes something corrupt? Could be anything. Could be, I get mad if you stole my Pop-Tart. Come on. That's my Pop-Tart, bitch. Oh, this has to be a mimic of the chakra. It has to be. There's no way around it. Oh, I gotta get it. I feel like we're doing some damn things right now. That is insane. I literally don't have to move. I mean, I should move. I shouldn't just stand there and just point and click. But you, you know, you know, just, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, okay. So it does, it is going to take some time to get there. It seems like, but we are getting close. Oh, this is a hell of a, hell of an area to fight on. Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura. Mahabalasura. And he revealed the extent of his power. Oh, shit. I got a chakra, bitch. Come on, come at me. She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. Oh, no. So, you have your sister. I'll make you pay for taking my brother. Oh my god! Oh 
yes I can. I got an insane chakra right now. Dude, this is I, I did this feels unfair. He is very powerful though. The noise is a little annoying, but it's fine. Oh my god. Alright, we got one! What just happened? Had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Oh my gosh. Who's coming in clutch? I could not see the truth. That this was just a diversion. What's happening? Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? Why is he doing that? I mean, I know he's trying to open the gates. And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu. Golu! Golu, what is happening? It was too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev Heavens now stood open. Mahabalasura's design had come to pass. And Golu had been the key. Oh no. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world? Yeah, what the heck? Golu, why did you say that? Was he made to say it, I wonder? Oh, do we get to play as Golu now? Golu! God damn you. How dare you do this? Do I have to crawl to him? Cute little cinematic. He's just being swept away by the sand. Golu! Oh, it's actually him! At first I thought it was an apparition. Wait, that's it? What? What? I thought there would definitely be a little bit more. Golu just messed that all up for us there. Wait, I thought there would be so much more than that. So maybe they'll probably make a sequel to the game, um, Nodding Heads games, to it, so that way it can follow exactly the story of of Raji and what's gonna happen next now that the 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 Deva Heavens have been opened. Well, I mean, I have to say that game was pretty fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty well done. And I mean, I don't play a lot of indie games often, nor do I play a lot of games like this often. And overall, I thought it was I thought it was nice. I thought it was really nice. Yeah, the story, the I love the storytelling, the narrative that they set for this game. I, I do think there were a few kinks uh, with it, mainly like the the wall walking was a little wonky at first. Um, there was like some hard points into it, but I definitely think the boss fights should have been a lot harder than they were. Like this game like seemed pretty easy to me. Like it, it seems like a pretty like easy walk in the park. Like the only times I ever really died were literally when I was like trying to parkour across the way. No, I really like overall though. This this game was fantastic. I like thoroughly enjoyed it. 
Special thanks to Epic Games, Xbox, NVIDIA. Nice job. Very nice job with this game. I didn't think that was going to be the ending. The ending kind of kind of sucks there a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It was not the greatest ending. Um, I wish they elaborated a little bit more on it, but I do know that, you know, this could set up for another game. So that, that could have been something that they had in mind for it. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. No, yeah, I, I really like it. Oh, so it was in a Full Sail University UX lab. I like that. Yeah, the user interface, the art style, the architecture, because everything's based off Indian culture in this game. Uh, it's Of course, it's beautiful. Of course, it's amazing. Of course, it's just absolutely stunning. There's no way around that. I just want to see if there's anything at the end of these credits here. So I'll fast forward through these credits for you guys. Oh, that was quick, actually. And our family sing goes in mouth. The Nodding Heads Doggos. Haley, Killer, Zia. I, oh. Continue to scroll. And by no means the least, you are beloved fans. Hey, I'm definitely a beloved fan here. Very, very good. Extremely well done. Loved it dearly. Yeah, very happy I got around to playing this Let's Play. I know this was a very, uh, or a very requested game for me to play. I loved it a lot. But hey... Thank you guys so much for sticking with me in this Let's Play. Uh, we definitely have more Let's Plays coming up, and it is going to definitely be a lot of fun. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below how much you enjoyed watching or playing this game, because obviously I thoroughly enjoyed it. But do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.